Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of the Geek Tech Show and in today's video we are going to be looking for great products that you can actually use right now for you to get the most out of your G7X Mark III and those are going to be accessories, optional accessories that you can add to this to make this the best quality type of videos and do all kinds of video filming with that. So we are going to be exploring each and every one of those. One of my favorites is this wooden grip here and I'm actually selling this one on my eBay for the cheapest possible price here. The great thing about this is that you can put on both of those sides actually a video mic, mic itself, external lights and you can stick them on both different ends of it as well. And with this you have an easily accessory here that you can go put this up, flip this up right there. And you can see yourself in a selfie stick here. Every one of the functions on this are easily accessible as well, including on the bottom for the battery too. And you can even open up right here on the side, both places where you're gonna be putting the external mic and other accessories as well. And the great thing about this is that there is a metal cage here that protects it from anybody hitting it as you're filming or using it for some um, movies or stuff like that. And also it gives you this very nice wooden handle that you can actually use when you're filming or doing stuff, something that is actually missing originally in the camera. And you can actually unscrew this right out of here in case you hate the wooden style. And if you don't like the wooden style, unscrew this take this out get some spray paint and spray paint this all black and it's gonna be really sick really nice looking like dope looking color that you can use for this when you're using this so that's one of the things for the g7x that you like and i do think you should actually get it for yourself as well but there's a few other cool things that you should consider too one is getting any kind of a tripod. It doesn't matter what kind of tripod you're getting. Any kind of a tripod is going to do it. You just need some kind of a tripod and a selfie stick included. Th this is not the one I recommend. There's going to be another one that I actually use and recommend to use myself and I use right now as I'm filming this video. And it is the Monofoto Mini one. This one I don't recommend for you to use because it has metallic arms here. It is cheesy. It is super cheap and I dislike it. What I really don't like about this thing is that its arms are so, as you can see, flimsy that I accidentally actually tripped when I put this on with the camera. It actually bounced itself and it bounced the camera right out of it and it fell all the way to the ground. This, my brand new Canon fell on the way to the ground and you know what? Nothing happened to it because it is Canon. Now, a few other things, there's a beanie stick that you can use. Beanies is great, you can just use this when you're doing photography and you can take pictures in a vehicle or something like that, you don't want to scratch the bottom of it and you want to make sure you have something steady to, to use, especially if you're in a vehicle uh, side of the road, you're just pulling over, you have this cute animal or something like that that you want to take a picture of. Or of course there is a very nice view so yeah the beanie itself is very helpful also and this one is right here is this the buff love the buff i'm gonna have a separate video about the buff and its uses especially for the head uh, to protect the neck and stuff like that but the buff is also could be used for the camera one to wipe the lens in case they're dirty two put something over it <laughs> hidden camera just kidding not really for that but the buff could actually be used as a beanie itself because it is so soft so you can put this on the bottom so instead of a beanie you can just use a buff for the same exact purpose how handy is that lastly last thing you really need is some kind of a case for you to store all those miniature memory sticks that you're going to be protecting them with and the pelican is one thing I do suggest for you to actually use. So the pelican over here, we have a set of three of them in this one. You can of course get a bigger one that has a set of eight different ones going over here. And I also have a different one. You can also get something that looks like this as well. 
also very nice looking and you can have all your memory storage over here as well so let's get started right now showing you the additional very cool accessories that is available for the g7x mark III. so some cool accessories that are necessary or of course just optional for the g7x the first one is this one right here i don't have a link to this one but it's kind of cool and it lets me hold the g7x with one hand and not worry about this dropping it's also a little bit rubbery too and you can actually make it small or larger so look for something like this for the canon g7x mark III. another favorite of mine and this one you can easily get is this selfie stick over here first thing about it is when you press on the top it loosens up over here and you can have different kinds of places that you can move this on also it has very flexible legs as well so you can put this anywhere you want and then the only other thing about this is if you want you can put it like this too so it gives you a lot of extra advantage for the tripod to be much higher as well also it doubles as a selfie stick too and last hint here if does this become loose the legs and after a while they will you can just screw them a little bit more and it's going to be as if brand new best thing about this this is designed in Italy and patent pending also made by Manafoto one of the best companies that makes accessories for cameras and camera gear so this is the one I use and a lot of professionals use as well the next one is a bag to protect your camera this one is not the best one because it's not hard but in most of the time you don't need a hard case you just need a case to have the camera right inside of it such as this right here and it serves to purpose one to keep the dust out two for you to be easily to carry this and get it strapped right to your belt so this is where this comes in also it's good when you are taking this inside your bag itself or a backpack also has a space right inside too open this up you can put an extra additional memory card right in here so this is another very great investment for you to keep and it has a little bit of padding right here to make it pretty good another addition is this so you can put this easily on your belt as well very good accessory next one this is not essential but i do suggest for you to get is a camera remote this remote if you just get the remote itself they do have one that comes directly with a selfie stick too and you can put right on it i bought that one before but i have decided this is more economical for me to use so the remote itself you pair it with it it has an auto autofocus button right here it has a zoom and another ability for you to zoom out zoom in zoom out and right here it has two different modes one for the photo another one for the video so when you press on it it can either take a picture or you can move it to make it make a video out of you another very good one is the following there's actually a bunch of those that are for sale but specifically this is the one i recommend there is actually a second version of it as well and i actually saw one on my ebay too if, in case you're interested in getting the second version i'm going to be showing you in a second so the good thing about this is that one thing when you plug this right into it you'll be able to use an external mic this is the external mic i recommend for you to get which is the Rode mic it's the smallest one that you can get that gives you the best possible external sound and since this has a mic jacket right in here built in on the side all you need to do here is the mic right here is to connect it together right inside here after you connect it together what you're doing next 
is using this small screw here and you're going to be screwing this together so now we have this and to top it off we're going to be using this to it and adding it to that so that will give us an ability to create a mobile station where we can record our own handmade movies and it is right on this side so you can still see yourself over here and it looks pretty stylish and minimalistic as well this is not the one that I'm selling by the way the next one that I recommend for you to think about getting is some kind of an external light although this is a huge one by this instant this one right here you turn this on it has very bright blinding light unfortunately right now the battery is out so it can't actually do that it has an external battery that comes with it with a usb charger as well when you open this up right on the side here this one by the way is waterproof too so if you have a special mechanism you can actually take this with you open this up this is super waterproof and everything in here and you have to put this in exactly in the right location it's going to be like here then you're going to be using this that's how it makes it super waterproof now we have the lights switch right here unfortunately the lights no longer work oh there it is super blinding light you can see right there very very blinding very powerful light and what i like about this is that you can use this here it is it is super bright mode by the way you can see how bright this was and it goes and cycles through the different modes here the green one if you want to turn it off just hold on it and it actually turns off so what this actually you will be using at is just turning this on and you're going to be using a mount like a very small mount to it it actually uses the same as a gopro mount or you can just go ahead and put one of those things right there and what you're going to be doing is just using it as an external light for a wide variety of different things night photography um, macro photography all kinds of different things that you want to use it for another thing that you can do here is actually add this to a mechanism such as this so instead of external mic you can add something like this to it that's another potential for you not this specific mechanism but we have to be a different kind of it and lastly last but not least is this one I'm actually selling this one on my site on eBay by the way so this one is pretty cool it comes with a tool for you right here it actually comes just with one I have two of them in here and what you can do with it is put a wooden one in here so that's going to be what I'm going to be doing right now. So how does this work? It's pretty simple here. You get this mechanism right there. You get this. And you can put this as the handle right to it. If you want. So here it is, the two holes right there. I'll be adding this as the handle. And to here we have two different screws for us to use simply put them in here and add them up using this mechanism right there just like that okay so that's how you go about and do this and then what we're going to be doing putting the camera right in here just like that and see this is a special cage so if you're doing some heavy duty photography with this camera not only you have something now to protect it 
you also have a very nice grip that is wooden and stylish that you can use to take pictures as well. And you also have an ability to get to everything too. So you have the mail right here. You also have on the bottom the battery compartment, easily accessible. And here we have the big one right here that we can screw to it and add this as well. So this is one of those really cool things that we can use a wide variety of different things to it. And specifically, we can add an external mic and add it in two different locations with this one. one you can choose the location you want to add the external mic to. Lots of different places. Actually, you can add a lot of different things here, but specifically the external mic goes right here. Or of course, you have the choice of adding another thing right there. So if you have maybe an external light that is battery operated, you can add it to one side, another side the external mic, and you can flip and choose which one you want to actually use here. You have two different places for you to stick this in and potentially something else into those holes. Not sure exactly what it is for. So overall, you have a lot of different cool things that you can use and put and use as an accessory for your G7X Mark III. Thank you.